everybody, welcome to season five. And with every new season, I want to make sure that my runes, masteries, and summary spells are up to par. So I'm going to go over the core selections that I've chosen for ADC so that you have a good starting point. Or if you just want to straight copy, feel free to. I've used this all the way up to playing to diamond level, so hopefully it will help you. And I know it can be very confusing, so let's get right in it. So with the rune page, I like to do two options. You can either choose the aggro build or a safer build. With the aggro build, you can see that I, I choose the runes that are going to give me a little more offense at the cost of some defense. For my reds, I'm choosing the greater mark of attack damage with one crit chance red. And the reason I do that is you're not probably going to notice the loss of 0.95 attack damage. But in the rare case that you do get that crit off in lane, it can really change the tide of the battle and set you up for success. So people go back and forth on this, but I like to do it. I feel like I get more crits this way, even if it is only 1% chance. As far as the yellows go, I do the one armor, greater seal of armor, all the way through. And then blues, I do a mixture. I do a little bit of magic resist, and that's four of them. And then I do five mana regen per level blues. That way I can spam my abilities a little more, be a little more aggressive. And in lane, I usually am not too worried about a lot of magic resist. And late game, really the magic resist isn't going to matter a whole lot. If you get caught out and you get blown up with a lot of burst damage, you know, having four versus nine of these isn't going to be a huge deal. And as far as the quintensuses go, I do one, two, four point five attack speed quints, and then one attack damage quint. So as you can see, it's going to give us a little more offensive, and I kind of like that. That's how I play. So this is my main page. But if you want to play a little safe, then you can do this sort of setup where you have the same red setup, and then for yellows, you can go about half and half. Half of it is the greater seal of armors, and the other half is the eight health. Now I went three because I didn't have enough, but you can see that it's going to give me more health and a little more defense that way. As far as the blues go, we do magic resist per level blues all the way throughout. Again, it's more defensive. You don't get the mana regen, but you do have more magic resist at the later stages of the game. So it's going to depend on your play style. As far as the quintensuses go, I do two attack damage quints and then one attack speed quint. So this build does you know, allow you a little more defensive uh, utility, so it's really up to you. But like I said, mine main is this. Now, if you are new to the rune page game and you don't have enough IP for your runes, make sure you're not buying runes unless they're tier 3. Buying anything less is just going to be a waste of your IP. It's better that you save up. Moving on to masteries, this is what I have set up. Now, this is the core. In defense, you have 9 defense. You're going all the way and making sure that you're getting veteran scars and juggernaut because we care about health in lane and we want to have survivability. Also, this does a little bit of armor here, reduces some incoming damage, and a little health regen. But the main two are these two, and that's why we go that route. We want that health. And then 21 in offense. So this is kind of the standard build here. You're going to go for the attack speed with fury, more attack damage with brute force, more attack damage with martial mastery, all the way down to warlord where you rank that. And then in this column, you're going to get butcher. It's going to let you last hit a little easier and get those last few points of damage on the minions. Feast gives you a little bit of uh, life steal back. Um, Executioner does more damage when the opponents are below health. And then this one is pretty good just because a lot of times you will be dueling with someone and you'll get that last hit and maybe you're in a wave of minions or they ignite you and your health is about to go out. This will allow you to get that last bit of little regen that will help you survive. So I like going with Dangerous Game. And then you make sure you get your Devastating Strikes to get that armor penetration and magic penetration. And then Havoc, again, plus 3% increased damage. It's very damage oriented. Really where a lot of people might switch it up is between these three. Some people might go two out of three in Warlord and then one out of one in Blade Weaving or they might not get Frenzy. Personally, I like Friendsly just because Infinity Edge is a core item now. It's the first big item that everybody gets, so your critical strike chance is going to go up, and it's going to trigger this ability, and it just increases your attack speed, thus you're going to be doing more damage. So this is my core setup, and that's the way I like to roll. Now, Summer Spells, 
it's going to be heal for one of them and it's going to be flash for the other. The reason why heal has taken over what used to be barrier is that you get the health but you also get the movement speed for one second after you use it. So it's and it's plus it's an AOE heal as well. Now the AOE heal is great but it also speeds you up which is going to save you a lot more than you think. And plus you get the full mana restore, uh, excuse me, health restore. Whereas barrier, if you don't you know, use it at the right time, it might not absorb the entire amount of the shield. So heal, flash, that's the way we're going. If you have any questions on the setup, just feel free to comment or message me in game. I'm more than happy to answer. Otherwise, guys, that's it. It's season five, and good luck, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.